Hello, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> Catching the bus. Ha ha ha. Catching the bus. City bus to Walmart. Mm. Well, you know, well, happy Shabbat and happy day of Pentecost to all my Jews and Christians. But this is the least most pretty much maybe celebrated day, you know. And it's sad, you know, God in heaven, Jehovah, and his son Jesus Christ are very disappointed and displeased of this nonsense that's going on in the world, you know. It's just what can you do? What 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 can you do? You know, I you know the thing is, look, I talk to God, I talk to Jesus, you know, and, you know, they shrug, you know, they just, you know, shrug their shoulders like this. I mean, what, 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 what can you do to humanity, you know? You, you, you give them everything that they need. You give them, you know, all the ingredients. What they do, turn around and screw you. You know, it's like... You know, it, but it's the trial and testing, you know, that they, you know, want to do to humanity to find those or find whosoever that will love them and follow the instruction manual concerning the Word of God. I mean, it's the Word of God. It is written. It will always be written. It won't never be something you need to hear from heaven. Really, you know, you're supposed to talk to God and Jesus Christ on a really for a relationship basis you know like hello god how you doing what's going on you know yes we make requests known to god and you know and ask for him to do this and ask for this and it's okay but what about the you know talking you know genuinely like how you know you know talking about general things that's going on in your life and what's going on in their lives you know what i'm saying just a mutual relationship you know that they desire from humanity but humanity are too religious to give God and Jesus a mutual relationship you know because they establish their own thing going on and people are worshiping them and you know and you know what can you do you know you try well what you can do is bring judgment injustice to the situation concerning their wrongful actions you know how they mistreated the, you know the things of God I mean you know is is you know is Colossians Paul said in Colossians about respecting the holy days you know and the church is not really respecting the holy days you know they think ah, oh, you know that that pen Passover and that other holidays all day for the Jews, you know. They they just we are we're our own set of people, you know. Yeah, we're about the cross and they're about, you know, Jehovah. You know, you know, you know, they're about Jehovah. We're about Jesus Christ, you know. But yet God is is the son of your, you know, Jesus Christ, but you know, you're all about, you know, just him and him alone, you know. Wow, I mean, how, you know, idiots are, you know, just easily developed, you know. And when people just want something that they want to control, you know. And that's what it's all about, you know. It's like, like I tell people, you know, about the idea of, you know, what, you know, uh, the, the whole ideal is about power and control. When it comes to lust, when you operate in lust, it's power and control. That's your desire. You desire power and control. And, you know, the thing is, God showed me a revelation about the two thieves. I was talking to my friend, you know, about the two thieves that were beside Jesus Christ, you know. And there's a, uh, it was the scribes and the Pharisees were there, you know, when Jesus was on the cross. And there were two thieves on the cross. Hmm. Well, you know, here's the thing. You know, was it, was it a sign 
in front of the, you know, Roman, you know, empire and the scribes and Pharisees that they were supposed to see in that situation that they did not pay attention to? Was it a sign that they were supposed to see? Uh, I bet they didn't see the signs, you know, because there were two thieves are on the cross. And they, I wondered if the Romans and the uh, scribes and Pharisees, the re Romans and the religious people, saw the image that uh, God and Jesus Christ was trying to show them. Well, let me help those Romans and those religious people of the sign that they were supposed to see at that time that they were not going to pay attention to. Well, those two thieves, oh, let me first, you know, show you the idea of it, you know what I'm saying? About the particle son, you know, the particle son, you know, the father gave, you know, the particle son his stuff because he wanted his stuff now, you know, like us people, you know. Particle son full of lust and you know everybody else full of lust and want power and you know control but you know he took his money and spent it up on himself you know he was act and that he was being greedy yeah he was being greedy and you know when you're greedy you know you uh you want you spend it up and you you want what you want you don't want what nobody else wants or what God wants you want what you want and the thing is, you know, so what happened was he spent all the money up, money ran out, friends, you know, oh, you don't got no money, peace out, I'm out. And then all of a sudden he end up in a hog pen. Mmm, hog pen, wait a minute, hog, a pig, mmm, wait a minute, isn't that animal is a greedy animal that likes to wallow in the dirt? Mmm, <laughs> that desires to walk, that's greedy, that eats up anything and, you know, everything and, you know, isn't that the type of animal that that is all about, you know, being greedy? Wait a minute, that's what the particle son was being, greedy when he took, you know, his father's, you know, money and spent it up on everything. Oh, oh, so he, so God put him, the uh, particle son in the position of seeing another pig to seeing the reflection of his heart. The reflection of his heart. All right, let's get back to the Romans and the religious people. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, so they, you know, hung Jesus on a cross, you know, and it was two thieves that were standing beside Jesus. Well, the spiritual, you know, mirror that, you know, the Romans and the uh, religious people were supposed to see that the reason why Jesus Christ is on the cross from their standpoint, from their standpoint, I know it's for the save all humanity and from their sins, yes, that's what, so there was the, the agenda, but guess what, there was a, another reason why, you know, that the two thieves was beside Jesus and the reason why Jesus was, you know, persecuted is because these two uh, religious and these Roman people wanted, was in, you know, two thieves that want to steal one thing, you know, in life. And, and do you know what that is? They want to steal, you know, from Jesus, you know, and God too. His glory. Yeah, glory thieves. Because if you read, of course, you know, I'm, uh, Matthew's, 23 and uh, 5 it talks about they want to be they were dressed they do works to dress to want to be seen as great among men they want to be seen as these great figures that people should look up to and worship and you know idolize and you know see how great they really are not really all about interpreting the Moses law concerning God's standpoint but try to you know interpret the law of God from what they can get all the attention from you know the people you know and you know work together with the Romans and you know and they work together with the Greeks too you know that's another story but you know check out the book of the Maccabees they you know kind of talk about that kind of stuff that you know that the Greeks and the Rome you know that that's what the scribes and Pharisees was pretty much helping you know the two 
two thieves that want to steal God's glory because Rome wants to be seen as gods. Oh, do Rome wants to be seen as gods and, you know, Julius Caesar want to be perceived as a god, you know? And, and, and you know, and funny thing about Julius Caesar and uh, 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 Alexander the Great, you know, both of them, you know, went to Egypt, <laughs> you know, to, you know, be about seeing if they are the ideal type of gods, you know, to be, you know, worshipped because of their great accomplishments and stuff and great things, you know. But, you know, the same thing going on with, you know, church system and the world system nowadays. They got a system developed that the people idolize them and they don't focus on the things of God like, you know, Shabbat and, you know, the day of Pentecost when the day that, you know, the children of Israel was, you know, I mean, the day when the day of Shabbat is when God, you know, gave the Torah to, you know, the Jews and they told the Jews that, you know, God told them, you know, follow these things. I'll, I'll be your God and you'll be my people, you know. <laughs> that should be an important day to celebrate. But, you know, and the day of Pentecost, you know, when the Holy Spirit came in the 10th day and filled everybody speaking in tongues that preceded the church, you know, and Peter prophesying in Acts 2, you know, that is about the church, you know, and about Jesus Christ, you know, that he fulfilled, you know, the prophecy, you know, and the day is today, but oh, uh, what kind of events that the Christians have, I don't know about the Jews are having, I think the Jews going to do something, uh, some of them, I don't know, but the church, I want, I'm concerned about the church, what are the churches doing on the very day that established, you know, itself to be what it is right now what what are they doing oh they're they're being too they're too divided to do anything together you know you're not gonna expect you know uh, something that's gonna get together for all you know Christians you know all people you know to uh, Christians to come together and celebrate you know the day of Pentecost by having and it says that you know uh, Shabbat also means you know, the Feast of Weeks, you know, you're supposed to have some events concerning the week of celebrating, you know, the holiday. But, uh, uh, we're, the churches, the Christians are too focused on, you know, Easter, you know, they focus on the goddess of fertility, you know, yeah, because they don't mind that the resurrection, you know, they, they don't call it Resurrection Day, but they prefer to want to call it Easter better than the Resurrection Day, which is the day that made them the con made them Christian because of what Jesus Christ did on the, you know, raised from the dead on the third day, established Christianity. They don't, you know, they're settled for calling it Easter, you know. And Christmas, you know, you know how that goes. Santa over the birth of Christ, you know. That's how Christians, I guess, love it, you know. They love, they don't mind being, you know, going the opposite pattern direction. And who cares? I care because I care about the things of God and I care about what's important to God. I care about what, you know, the purpose that God created us for, you know, to be made in the image and the likeness of God, you know. And if we're not following the rules and, you know, the word of God and not doing that, then... I think we're not really, I don't know, loving God or, you know, because he gave this great love gift to us. I mean, what are we, we supposed to give back and, you know, in obedience, you know, and, you know, it's Adam and Eve all over again, you know. It's just, you know, God tell you, give you a commandment, you break it, you know. How many commandments God and Jesus got to give us? You know, they give us one, God, Jesus give us one simple, love one another as yourself. We'll screw that up. Screw that up because we operating in lust and we're allowing the world to dictate, you know, everything, you know, that's going on with us. But guess what? Things are going to change very soon. Things are going to get changed and, you know, things are going to get right the way it's supposed to be, you know. So, you know, Judgment and justice is coming, so I just want to let everybody know to get ready for a spanking and get ready for, 
you know, spirit and in truth and no more familiar spirits and lies. And everything's going to get back on track. So understand that. To God be the glory to him forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen.